Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Interval Educational Clips. My name is Martin Kerr and I've been with Interval for six years. I have a great deal of experience with material handling application for airports. Matter of fact, I worked in the airport industry for more than 15 years for projects all over the world. We all know how the current pandemic had had a severe impact on the aviation industry. When this situation is finally over, it will, once again, be as important as ever to have a material handling system that allows airport to run their operations smoothly, effectively and with the lowest possible maintenance cost to keep a healthy bottom line. Baggage handling is a process that lies in the core of every airport. Travelers are so used to have their bags delivered to their destination that they take it for granted, thus underestimating the complexity of such a system that runs in the belly of every airport. One of the key elements for a robust and reliable baggage handling system is a belt curve. Anytime luggage needs to change travel direction on a conveyor, a belt curve is needed. I've been talking to airport professionals, managers and maintenance crews all over the world. Do you want to know what they all consider to be the most important quality in a bell curve? Reliability. A solid, sturdy piece of equipment that will not fail over the years and performs a duty reliable day in and day out, delivering bags to travelers everywhere 365 days a year. There's mainly two types of ways to drive a belt curve, friction and chain. Many of Interval's competitors using friction drive systems. This type of design is subject to following risk. Belt slippage due to overloading, high belt tensioning resulting in high belt and drive roller wear. This causes several issues. One, extra maintenance time. Two, increased need of spare parts. And three, as the belt ages, it requires regular belt tensioning. And by the way, replacing a belt in a friction drive curve means hours of downtime. The interroll belt curve design consists of a low tension belt attached to a pre-stretched side bow chain that drives and guides the belt. It is impossible for the belt to slip. This eliminates overheating due to slipperage and permits short times of overload without slipperage. The interroll chain drive belt curve design has a history of reliability and longevity, as opposed to the friction drive, which is subject to significantly higher wear and tear due to the higher tension required for its operation. This results in much higher maintenance cost and spare parts cost than for the interroll belt curve. If the belt of an interroll curve must be replaced, a downtime of less than 30 minutes is required compared to the hours that a belt replacement takes on a friction drive system. I'll be happy to show you how fast a belt can be replaced on an interval belt curve. There's countless airports all over the world that rely on the interval belt curve technology for their baggage handling systems. Beijing, Shanghai Pudong, Guangzhou, LAX, Washington Dulles, JFK, Miami, Denver, Calgary, Vancouver, Montreal, Bogota and Billund, just to name a few. When we ask the operation and maintenance teams working on the airport's baggage handling systems for feedbacks about the interval belt curve's performance and reliability, we always get an extremely positive response. As the most global supplier of material handling solutions for airports, interval can guarantee the highest standards in terms of quality and service. From belt drives for your check-in counters, to conveyor systems for security checkpoints, down to rollers for aircraft loading equipment, we have a wide range of solutions for airports on hand. To know more about what we can do and to discuss any of your projects, get in touch with us, schedule an online meeting on our local web pages and visit our YouTube channel. You will find the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and remember, please keep your seat belt securely fastened until the plane has come to a complete stop and the fastened seat belt sign is turned off.